Hi, I'm Christine. I'm here in Romania with my family for two weeks. I'm really interested to see how things are here in Romania because I lived here about 20 years ago and I'm interested in seeing what is similar, what's different. So, what do you do with a family in Bucharest? I had wanted to return here for a long time, but I didn't feel like it was a safe place to take my kids. My past experiences with pickpockets, taxi scammers, lack of resources available, and poor hygiene made it a less comfortable place to visit. Romania was a communist country up until 1989, so when I first arrived in 1994, I found it in an economic mess with high inflation and poor infrastructure. But Romania joined the EU in 2007, which changed a lot of things. Since then, the lives of Romanians have slowly been improving, and we could see signs of this everywhere. The metros were clean, safe, and efficient. Where there were beggars everywhere before, we found public transport to be completely void of them. From the metro stop at Universitate, we made our first steps into the city. Bucharest has some incredible buildings with columns, domes, and lots of ornate sculpture. Most are classical or Baroque, but also a few Russian Orthodox style churches are around. The apartment where we stayed was located in a large city block near the city center. It wasn't much to look at on the outside, but inside it was comfortable and modern with all the amenities. Nearby, we found the university building where much of the 1989 revolution took place. I remember there being pockmarks on this building from bullets and the words of the Romanian national anthem written on the wall, like in this old photo, but these have since been removed. Coincidentally, a protest like the one which started the revolution was being held on the very evening of our arrival. This one consisted of several thousand citizens protesting in a number of large cities against corrupt laws made by the current government. Though this one didn't last long and was kept mostly peaceful, I think it still gave a strong message to the Romanian government. Despite the protests, none of us ever felt unsafe, and luckily the political activities didn't disrupt our travel and sightseeing plans. Actually, it was kind of fun to get involved. Next, we explored what is called Old Town, an old, architecturally interesting area of Bucharest, which lay in decay for many decades but was revitalized in 2015. It's now a lively set of streets filled with bars and restaurants. Oh, I'm just showing this area. They mostly have a youthful attitude with food wagons, international and traditional flavors, and even some with a Dracula theme. We didn't spend a lot of time here, but we did grab a quick bite to eat at the local subway. Old Town leads you into the other neighboring areas of center, which include a smattering of shops, restaurants, and bars, and this amazing bookstore called Kartoresh. It just looks like an ordinary bookstore from the outside, but inside it's an architectural masterpiece. It's filled with books, mostly in Romanian, but also some in English and other foreign languages. The store also features a lot of nice gifts, souvenirs, and book accessories, as well as a restaurant on the top level. We found Bucharest quite easy to navigate using Google Maps and a metro map, which we had gotten from a tour office. Did you know that Bucharest has its own triumphal arch, just like in Paris? We saw it on our way to the Peasant Village Museum, Museo Satului. The arch was built in 1922, after World War I was over, and the three regions of Romania became unified. 2018 is their centennial year. We arrived at Museo Satului, the Museum of the Peasant Village. Hai fetso frumos, rupe firu tors, ca si cum ar fi timpul inimii, ca do fi so fi, si vei adormi, vei visa cu dor, 
vremenom silom dan ste u situare kada la picioare licoane se spara trupul de fețoare dan ste u situare kada la picioare licoane se spara trupul de fețoare Next, we hopped over to a cafe patisserie that I knew well from the 1990s, Cofeturie Anna. This bakery opened in 1991 and was extraordinary for that time. Most other bakeries in post-communist Bucharest were merely a window with a grouchy cashier and only one type of bread available. But Anna's was like a Paris or Viennese bakery with beautiful cakes, desserts, and even ice cream. I decided to share this experience with my family, including my daughter Anna. Bucharest has some really great parks. We stopped at Hedestro Park in the north of Bucharest for a rest. Here we found a lake with fishermen, restaurants, people strolling and biking, and plenty of benches. And it's just a great place to relax in the afternoon, especially on a hot day when the apartment you live in is too stuffy. A more lively part of the park is called Skate Park Hedestro, where skaters, rollers, BMXers, and scooters are welcome. Apparently, it's the home of many alternative sports in Bucharest and hosts events and competitions. Even bungee jumping has happened here. The park is now 20 years old, and my kids loved it. Soon we moved on, quickly using the metro to visit some other neighborhoods of Bucharest, which varied greatly in appearance. In the southwest side of the city, at the metro stop Eroi Revoluzie, we found the cemetery where the heroes of the 1989 revolution are buried. At the cemetery stands a beautiful church, and the cemetery has been carefully renovated and maintained. It's a solemn but educational place. Each grave features a photograph of the hero, including a 13-year-old boy, whose mother had engraven on his gravestone that she would never forget him. Right next to the cemetery is a large and beautiful park, the Youth Park, also called Parco Tinaretului. This park is easiest to get to at the metro stop Tinaretului. It covers an area of about 80 hectares and was built in the early 70s. It features fountains, shady hills, a rose garden, a playground, and a lake with boating opportunities. If you come in the evening, you'll find people of all ages and feel you are in the heart of Bucharest. Back in the city center, we arrived at Piazza Uniri. Piazza means plaza or square, and Uniri is the largest commercial square in Bucharest. A short stroll from Piazza Uniri leads you to the most iconic building in Bucharest, Casa Popolului, or House of the People. This enormous building is the current location of the Romanian National Parliament, 
It is the second largest administration building in the world with around a thousand rooms and eight underground levels. Just up from the Casa Popotolui is Calia Victoriae, a major boulevard which is home to numerous financial, cultural, and government buildings. It's known for its stately and aesthetic architecture and its chic attitude. We visited Calia Victoriae in the evening when the Dumbovitsa River was still barely reflecting the city. Our time in Bucharest soon came to an end. My husband Val had been able to gather a lot of great research for a novel he's writing, and our family had been able to explore and experience a lot of interesting new things. It was amazing to see how the city has developed in the past 20 years, yet it still holds its own unique identity, truly Romanian.